Wait, so I'm record like I'm You're live. So I'm showing this to people. Yeah. Can I not? <laughs> you asked me. No, I yeah, I thought you wanted to go live. I didn't want to I am live. You can I don't want to show people. All right, cancel out of it then. I don't know. You know what? That's fine. Today we talk about uh, what it do, folks? What it do? Uh, we are live. Uh, thanks for joining. This is episode 50, 50 something of the podcast that we are live for the QA segment to end out that show. Uh, this is the segment where you get to ask any and all questions. Uh, hopefully, someday we can get to a routine where um, you kind of know when this is coming, or maybe I'll know when this is coming and then I can do some announcements so that y'all can be prepared for that, especially because uh, just barely became after five o'clock on this lovely Sunday, but it is Sunday. So I guess no one's really working. So I guess you guys are available to do this. Uh, love you guys too. Uh, maybe you'll be first next time. Appreciate you. The air tech challenges. Yes, I have them with me. If you tune into this episode later, uh, we went into the details of the sneaker history of this shoe. Um, uh, but, uh, in the meantime, I'm going to load up uh, Instagram live for uh, bunsing here. Um, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll have you call in. You want to call into mine? Uh, on Instagram or Facebook? Yeah, no, on Instagram. Uh, so I'll call you in. So get live on Instagram and then I'll, I'll put you in there. Um, literally speaking, just do whatever. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so you're going to go to my live and you're going to request to join the live somehow. Oh, send a request. Send a request. You go live with Bunzing. And uh, why don't you hold that up? And here we are, waiting for Zach Benzing. What does it say? Oh, there you go. All right, so we are live. Hey, uh, that's your phone, man. So Wait, so I'm record Like, I'm... You're live. So I'm showing this to people. Yeah. Can I not? <laughs> you asked me. No, I... Yeah, I thought you wanted to go live. I didn't want to... I am live. You can... Yeah, I don't want to show people... All right, cancel out of it then. I don't know. You know what? That's fine. All right, anyway, so uh, let's see what other questions we're getting here. Um... I did not hit on the Travis Lowe's. Travis Scott is cool, but I'm not about it. I uh, just skipped the, Wait, the shoes. Are, are we getting the same questions? No, you're going to get the Instagram questions. I'm going to get uh, the YouTube questions. Uh, I'm such an inspiration. Bunzing triggered. Love your content. Bunzing <laughs> triggered so much. Keep it up. Bunzing. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? <laughs> uh, no, he's see. great. He's great. Favorite he's, shoe. Man. What the hell? What? Uh, be you a shoe you me. don't own. Can your can, favorite can, shoe. Can you figure this? Can I use this thing? Yeah, if you want to use if you want to use the tripod, go for it. Um, I bet. But anyway, so uh, so yeah, I, I think you can have a favorite shoe that you don't own. It's kind of like having a favorite car that you uh, don't own. It's like I have a favorite car that I don't own. You know, I think it, I, th I think that qualifies. Uh, yeah. So lift. Yeah, do it on the horizontal thing. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry, everybody. Just, just the. Uh, Shit or whatever. Um, let's see. Uh -huh. I mean, you can lean it, but just lean it. Thank you. Helpful. <laughs> no. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. Uh, growing pains here. Um, yeah. So to answer your question, I think you can own a sneaker or have a favorite shoe that you don't own. Uh, did you know the Chicago ones are coming out in February? Everyone says that's coming back out. The bread ones are coming back out. I don't know. No one cares, especially this guy. Uh, let's keep it moving. Favorite shoe under 150 bucks might have to be the Air Tech Challenge Twos. They're baby. solid. These guys, this this color is getting really sh washed out in this uh, in this FaceTime camera. But uh, but you guys on Instagram are seeing it a lot better. Uh, it's a lot a uh, lot cleaner view of it. But yeah, for 130 bucks, I don't think you could beat the shoe. To be honest with you. Um, What's the best joke you've ever heard? Uh, anything Bunzing's not come up with. Am I right? Hey. Yeah, All right. That's how it <laughs> uh, when did you start your collection and your first sneaker love? Uh, sneaker love, I guess, technically back in uh, middle school. Uh, sneaker collection started majorly collecting in 2016. Um, Where are you getting these uh, Q&As? From YouTube. So I'm like live right on now? YouTube. Yep. And you're live on Instagram with wait, why is it 11 like people. Why is it black on mine? It's not black. What are you talking about? Look at my phone. Yeah, because you're facing away from the sun. Oh, my God. But, like, yours isn't. Because I'm facing this way. My I have another phone in front here. You know what? I kind of yeah. like this. All right. Uh, so <laughs> white on white Air Force. Mine? 
Uh, yeah, of course. But you you look sideways to me because you're holding your phone like that. Good. But anyway. Good. Uh, what's my opinion on white on white Air Force One lows? I've got a pair. They're great. Uh, but Racist. the problem is you got to keep them crispy. So I don't know. I haven't worn them yet. But Wait, white on white what? Air Force One lows, like the chunky white shoes that you always see in Harlem. Are Air Force One still like a thing? Yep. Not like major bigly, but like they're still a classic. Like they're they're what always they going to be around. Like 2003? They came out in 1982. Shut up. Yeah. With Nell, but Nelly Song. Nelly Song put, put them Force back into ones. popularity. But oh, wow. They were the first ever. You know how this is a retro or like those are a retro? Like anytime they bring a sneaker back, it's a retro. Mm-hmm. The very first ever retro was the Air Force One. Because like usually up until then, people would make sneakers and they'd be like, all right, we got to make the next thing. Air Tech Challenge 2, uh, Air Force One 2 or, or Air Force 2 or whatever. Air Max 2. This was the first time people were like, yo, nah. We kind of like that shit. Bring that shit back. And Nike was like, all right. So was that like when Nelly came out with that song though? Like in no, that was back or... in 1983 or four. Wait, but so so in 1984, they had Air Force Ones before that. In 1982, that's when the shoe first came out. Uh-huh. It was crazy popular. Everyone mm-hmm. wanted them. And then they went away because that's what happens with shoes back in those days in the 80s. Yeah, you but, come but, out with but, the new shoe, the right. new model. You keep moving on. Right, but this I'm, was the first time someone was like, yo, nah, those shits that, from 1982... Bring those back. That was like 2000. Like. No, that was like 1984, 85. So then they started bringing them back over and over and over. And then they started getting played out because almost everyone had them. So there's Air then, Force Ones like in the 90s. Yes. Then Nelly does the whole ah, fon, won, and brings them back into like its second they level of hype. mixtape too. Sure. I'm you, know, probably- you, you know, actually, uh, and this is, this is one thing I know about shoes. Uh, he made that song before... Talking in Nike. Oh, of course. He didn't make that with their cosign. That wasn't yeah. a branded and then, song. And then they bought it from him. Oh, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. And he made um, a shit ton I don't know of that money. they bought the song, but like they definitely appreciated the efforts. But it was no, a totally I, independent effort to like feature a song. That was Jamie not a plan. That yeah. That was not a plan like. Uh, no, I cosign. know, but no, no. He, he, because uh, I read about this, he, when he made that song, Rocket and my Air Force Ones, he had idea that he was going to sell the song to Nike and then he sold it to him. Yeah, maybe. But made that's not what I heard from what I remember reading about the story. It was just like an organic thing. But then again, <laughs> yeah, maybe he's just saying that because Nike told him to say that now. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. But anyway, um, let's keep moving with these questions here. Uh, what le- releases am I looking forward to? I'm looking forward to those new dunks if they do come out. Uh, or actually, they're definitely coming out with Para. Uh, and apparently there's a Blazer Low as well, which I don't own a pair of Blazer Lows. And I kind of like the Blazers, so we're going to do that. Uh, what's my opinion on new Para Dunks? I literally just answered that. That's awesome. Uh, what's the most comfortable shoe? Uh, definitely probably a Boost type of shoe. Uh, I'd have to get back to you on the rank of comfortability. I've been meaning to make that video, actually. Maybe we can do it after this. Those we'll Adidas see. ones are super comfortable without socks. Super helpful, yeah. No, uh, no, no, but I mean, someone's asking. Those, those, yeah, those ones that that's, you that's recommended what, me. That's what I was saying, yeah. So, um, what is my opinion? Or what is, uh, Do I have any Bapestas? I do. I have the uh, Kanye College Dropout Bear Bapestas, the one you, you saw. You talk to people. You don't have to rush this. Yeah. Uh, well, there's a lot of questions I'm trying to rush here. Do you think the word grail is thrown around too loosely? <laughs> yeah, I don't really have too much of an opinion on that. I think that's subjective. As but, I mean, I understand why people are sticklers for the term. But it would be, let's Wait, just... Bay or bape? Grailed. Oh, Bapesta. That's the name of the shoe model. By Bape. Bape is the company that makes it. Wait, uh, Bape's the And company? Bapesta was inspired to make... Or Bape was inspired to make the Bapes the shoe because of Air Force Ones and how who prominent is, they who were. Who is Bape? Bape is the brand that makes the hoodie the camouflage shark hoodie that i showed you oh. yeah what what country japan oh. nigo friend of pharrell williams yeah totally bro gnarly uh would i rather have some incredible shoes but you never wear them to keep them crispy or shoes that were not quite as cool but you felt more comfortable wearing them uh i got both I got both. Uh, who else is talking? Oh, did I ever respond to your email, Sheena? I'm sorry. I meant meant to get back to it. I've just been having a rough week. Just been out of uh, a funk. Yeah, so, super. Yeah. Super busy. <laughs> <laughs> no, not busy. I've just been in a funk. I just haven't All been right, yeah. even in the mood to like make mic. YouTube videos and shit. Dick. Yeah, I just wasn't feeling it, dude. I just couldn't make it. Wow, meow. Uh, what is your opinion on the Yeezy uh, Lumbar? On the other guy talking, by the way, <laughs> to that question. Uh, if you tune into the uh, Instagram live, you'd see him. Knicks or Nets? That's what they asked on the on the Instagram. Uh, I'm going to go Nets all the way, baby. Fuck, yeah, fuck the, the Knicks. Knicks. The Nets suck. Nets but I do want to go to MSG to see a uh, Lakers game. That's for sure. Um, my wife, uh, my wife, uh, her uh, one of her clients is MSG. And they're like, oh, we're giving out uh, tickets to all the um, uh, Net, uh, Knicks games. And they're like, so invite like your clients. Right. 
And she was like, I'll do it when the Nets are in town. <laughs> I, thought, oh! I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> Loaded. All right. Clever. Uh, clever. No, yeah, I get it. Uh, yeah, oh, no, thanks. I think the Knicks are done. I think <laughs> no, I, they, they should have been sure, done a long time ago. Sure, now done. Yeah, they should have been done a long time ago. Dude, By the way, for, for those of you on Instagram tuning in, Area 51 best shoes, clever. Nice question. Uh, but no, Wait, are for, you seeing my Instagram? Yes. No. Oh. Dude, this is what I'm seeing. Yeah, I can't see yours. Oh. You're just sideways. <laughs> <That's>, uh... yeah. <laughs> but, um,. <laughs> But anyway, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, for those of you on Instagram, there's much better audio quality on the YouTube live feed because it's being fed through the microphones instead of this. But if you want to just rather tune on into this, so dude, what Wait, do you what, do? what's the audio going through on Instagram? Just the phone audio. So like my phone? Or no, this phone? Your phone is my picking phone. up. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'll bring it closer. Then. All right, anyway. Um, Let's see. So back to the questions here. The Lundmark, eh, it doesn't look that much different than the other Yeezys, so I'm sticking away or staying away. Uh, but it looks nice. Itty woody. Can you rank these shoes from favorite to least favorite? Asics, New Balance, Saucony, and Diodora. I'm going to go with uh, New Balance first, uh, Diodora second, Asics third, and Saucony fourth. Are New um, Balance still made in the U.S.? Some of them. Some are made in USA, but only the to, to qualify for made in USA uh, branding, you have to only do 70% of the manufacturing in the u.s so there's a certain component of it that's still not done in the u.s so it's not 100 percent pure merc and but it would be uh have you ever thought of doing a mystery box unboxing nope and i made a video about why i don't really enjoy mystery boxes so check that out if you're interested on youtube uh you get in the travis scott lows nope i uh, feel like i can answer some of these questions people are asking go for it uh, best shoe will smith <laughs> <laughs> Best shoe Hack. Will Smith wore in Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Uh, it's got to be the Great Fives. The Great Fives, I feel like, are only significant because of that. But maybe I'm saying that because I'm not black. I don't know. Black people would probably have better insight into what shoes kind of popped off from that era. But because I, I didn't even really watch that show all too much, but I know it's known for its sneaker ish. But anytime I think Fresh Prince, I think the Great Fives. And they recently brought back those Great Fives without the laces, which is something that uh, Will Smith popularized. So. Hey, yo. Um, so that's what I I'm feel like say. you could say the N word and nobody would get mad. Uh, people would definitely get mad. Who would get mad? People. People. Well, yeah, people get mad. I'll give you an anything. example. I'll give you an example. So like in my the trailer to my entire YouTube channel where I'm doing my day in the life of a doctor because I'm a doctor. Buns and oh, triggered. are you? Yeah. I had no idea. Uh, have you ever heard of batteries? Energizer bunny triggered. Um, so uh, <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, oh, in the <laughs> in the intro to my uh, Dane the Doctor trailer, I'm playing one of Drake's songs from his new album, the Scorpion album, the f first song in the album, not the first first song, which is okay, the intro, but the going. first actual song. He says it as part of the intro, not even part of a lyric. It's like part of the ad lib, and I put Wait, that in my. He drops the end bomb. He drops the end bomb. And I don't even know if it's him talking. I think it is, but he um, he puts it in there, and I just featured that ad lib in my opening intro, and someone legit emailed me and be like, um, excuse me, did you know that that word was said in your uh, intro? Did you know it's not okay for you yeah, to that, say that, that, that That's That's nonsense. I mean, people have emailed you about me just being like alive. My point is people are going to get mad. <laughs> yeah, people yeah. are going to get mad, but I feel like you could get away with it. Uh, I've, seen, I've seen so many comics drop the N-bomb who are just like, oh, I'm I've like, seen, oh, I thought you're white. And they're I've, like, yeah. well, my, you know, I don't, even think, black I don't even think that's the thing. I've seen plenty of white comics get away, quote unquote, get away with saying the N-word. Oh, I've never seen a, it's, a white comic do oh, the N-word. I'll show you plenty of clips. First of all, well, are uh, they white or Louis are they just like Puerto Rican or something? Louis C.K. Oh, well, yeah, that was brilliant. But that's the only one. That's the that's only not the one. only one. Let me keep going. Um, Arrested Development Triggered. They say the Michael Cross. Or is it Michael Cross? Michael Cross? I'll show you the clip right after. But if you just... Um, someone help me out here. Is it Michael Cross? The guy from... Uh, the blue man from... Um, fucking uh, Arrested it, Development? That's Michael Cross, yeah. I think it's Michael Cross. Yeah, yeah. So he's also a comedian. If you just type in Michael Cross tattoos, he has a bit about tattoos where he just says the N-word. And it's funny, but... He clearly, quote, got away with saying All right. So, well, let's talk about... And these guys are white, white, okay? But, yeah, I mean... Yeah. Now, with that said, could I get away with it? Yeah, maybe if I did a funny, lulzy joke surrounding it. Dude, I think you could get away with it if you were on the street and just dropped it. I don't think so. Nobody would challenge it. And, may, and maybe if you I... You look foreign enough. Maybe if I did, I wouldn't risk it. 
I mean, I'm not saying you it's know? a good thing to say anyway. I think it's. A, I'm not saying it's a good or bad thing. I'm just saying, like, you're saying I could get away with it, and I'm saying I don't think so. And if so, I'm not willing to risk finding let's out. Let's try it tonight. But anyway, yeah, let's do it. Everyone meet in the quad and get naked. <laughs> All right, let's do um, it for pizza. Any tips on getting? <laughs> Yo, what's up? <laughs> any tips on getting through college when the going gets tough? Uh, Kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's that's Bunzing's <laughs> advice. Uh, not my advice. Sorry about the poor connection on Instagram. Another reason you should tune into YouTube. Yeah, YouTube's um, way better. Thanks to all 22 of you for uh, tuning in. By the way, hit more of that thumbs up. That'd be nice of you. Appreciate it. To keep um, it going through college. Just focus on like what you want to do with your life afterwards. I would focus. This is all, it's all temporary. Uh, it's all temporary. And you actually have a goal. The thing about college that was really nice uh, for me. I had a goal. It was like, get the degree. But also and don't compare done. yourself to other people. Like other people are going to be like, oh, I got a three point. Yeah, but that's gonna be I got an A, I got a B. But like, I wouldn't pay too much attention to that. You just want to be doing your best and learning. Ultimately, you want to be learning. You don't want to You want to learn how to learn. Yeah. But the, for, because after you get out of college, if you, you're always going to be comparing yourself to other people. What you need to do is just like, you have a goal. Because once you leave college, you don't really have a goal anymore. Uh, that's not the case with everybody, but no, most, I understand the sentiment. Yeah, I understand yeah, the sentiment. Yeah. But if yeah, I think it. I think one of the ways to get through college, honestly, is like have a plan beforehand. Like, don't be going showing up to college being like, all right, now what? You gotta have a plan, yeah, man. Get tricked in and women. Like, you can't just show up and hope to figure it out. Like, yeah, if you're going you, to college undecided, maybe reconsider that for a year. No, take a year well, off. Do, I'd rather you take do, a year do, off do, than like, do a year undecided. Or something, something. But yeah, yeah do not go to yeah. a four year college with full tuition. To figure shit out on an undecided Unless major. Unless it's a state school and cheap. Right. But, yeah. but I'm just saying, private institution, $40,000 yeah. a year, $30,000 a year, twenty dollars might be a little much to be spending to find out what you want to and not want to be doing. Just fucking go to audit classes. Like, go show up and just audit classes, and you get to still party, and you don't have any homework. The thing That's I miss most, dope. yeah, but the thing I miss most about college is I'm a goal-oriented kind of guy. Yeah, so you I still t- be goal-oriented. Yeah, but it's, it's a little different when, you, when you're in the real world. Like, in college, it was like, all right, get the A. Get the degree, like, your focus is the yeah. degree. Focus on the, I don't know. College is going to be the easiest time of your life. But it also depends on whose uh, experience you're talking about for college, because my college experience was totally different than yours. I walked what in, are you talking about? I walked in knowing I was going, oh yeah, I had to restart it. If you want to rejoin, you don't have to. Oh, how, do um, I, how do I? Just, yeah, there you go. And then just yeah. say, request to join my live. Oh, damn it, got one. I don't. Right there, see just that. hit that button. Which button? Oh, request. Uh, anyway, um, oh, no, it went to a Dairy Queen commercial. All right, Baker's trick. Up, up, up. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, no, all right, do it. Oh, Dude, Sorry, I folks. just Technical started using Instagram. I'm still like, just learn how to do it. You gotta do it. The buttons freak me out. Send requests. Oh, it's also, guys, I'm sorry about this disgusting <laughs> Android <laughs> bullshit. This, you know, you just work with what you got. You, you know? hack. Anyway, back to the questions. Um, how am I on? Uh, I'm not on now. No, you'll join in a second. Give Android an extra minute, you know. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. So, have you ever thought of... Nope, I already Wait, talked about right that. There. I feel like I can answer some... Yeah, uh, best shoe, Will Smith. Okay, we did that. Do you prefer Travis Scott ones or off-white UNC ones? Definitely the off-white Travis UNC Scott ones. Travis Scott has shoes? Yeah, dude. He's got Jordan 1. He's got a model like the ones you're wearing. Uh, Bunzing's wearing the... Uh, why, don't you show them, why don't you show the people what you got on foot? Pan, pan the uh, camera down. Actually, I'll show them. Here. Oh, I was going to say, I could just do this. But let me, uh, let me flap the camera. There you go. Ooh. Ah. Uh, ooh. Goblin got these for me for my wedding. Up, 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 up. Um, winning the chip. Who's winning the chip? What question is that for? Uh, I don't understand Instagram. Winning the chip? You mean the championship? I don't know. What's the longest you have waited for a pair of sneakers? <laughs> I don't recall. I don't really like have a countdown because usually if I want something, I go get it. Uh, I'm, oh, in a, I'm in a blessed position to be in. <laughs> because I'm a doctor. Did you know that, Bunsing? Did you oh, know I'm no, a doctor? I've never heard that. I Guys, never heard that. I'm a doctor. Um, appreciate all the thumbs up. We're up to 11. Appreciate it. I'm talking to the... Uh, uh, YouTube folks, not the Instagram folks. Again, you, uh, Instagram folks, if you're looking for better audio, just tune into the live on the YouTube. Also, while I have you guys, please, please, please go to the, the podcast app uh, on iTunes slash podcast app on iPhone. Uh, it's also now live on Stitcher. 
Go give a five-star rating and please leave a review if you can, if you don't mind. Even just write Dato Day or Kuh or Yo Kyle or Idi Wood Idi or whatever you want. Get, get, get funky with it. I'll read some of my favorites as the podcast uh, episodes develop, I promise. Uh, the more you guys do that, the more that ish will grow. The more visible it'll be, the more I'll be uh, lulzy, hopefully. Uh, Who's winning the chip? I don't know. Eat the chip. Aim and trigger. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I love Ultra Boost. Me too. He just said he doesn't like Travis Scott Jordans. I, didn't, I shouldn't say I don't like them. I'm just, I just skipped all of them. The Air Force ones, the Jordan ones, and the Jordan Force. Why are they Travis Scott? Did he like design them? Yeah, he like uh, he did the design. So like you know the old uh, you know he's from Houston. He was from, he's from Houston. So do you know how <laughs> the Houston uh, Texans used to be the Houston Oilers? Yeah. Oh yeah. And you That's remember the, the color scheme? scheme? The Bengals won in the playoffs. Yeah. So was against you, the Oilers. You would remember that. <laughs> They don't even exist anymore. That's so, <laughs> yeah. So, do you know um, the old color scheme for the Texas uh, Oilers? Yeah, the blue like and light uh, blue, yeah, yeah, red. Light blue, red. Yeah. So, basically, Travis Scott did a Jordan 4 collaboration that looked pretty much just like that. So, that was kind of cool. But he, so he's only had one? No, he's or? had three. He's had an Air Force one, a Jordan one, and a Jordan But they're four. the same colors? No. The Jordan 4 is the Oilers colors. The Jordan one is more of like a, uh, I'll show you. It's like an olive tan, something, something. But you don't have any of them? No, I just skipped all of them. Hack. And I made videos about it. <laughs> they did pretty Wait, good. But he, why didn't you like him? Just because. Uh, just because like I, I don't. I don't relate to Travis Scott the same way the kids do. So like, I'm just like, eh. that'd be like me buying um, He's Giannis your, shoes or Kyrie loved, shoes. I'm I not. I, I, I respect Kyrie, but I'm not gonna buy his shoes. You get what I'm saying? Wait, isn't Travis Scott the Blink One and Two guy? No, that's oh. Travis Barker. Oh. Yeah, if it was Travis Barker, <laughs> yeah, that, I, thought, Howard, I thought we were talking about him. Nah. Who the fuck's Travis Scott? Oh lordy, guys. No, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Ugh, Wait, is he a musician? Musician, bigly musician. Probably the biggest I thought we were right talking now. Travis Barker. I was like, nope, oh, no. Nice. I was like, yeah, that, that's why I was surprised. I was like, I fu- <laughs> well, that, That's why I was surprised. Oh. I figured he'd be really into that. Uh, yeah, I would be, but he yeah. doesn't have a sneaker, so moving on. I can't believe he doesn't have um, a sneaker. What's the best? He feels like a guy who'd have a sneaker. What's the best pet to match, to match with off-white blazers? I don't know about a pet, bro. I don't think Dalmatian. any pets. No, no, no pets belong with uh, sneakers, in my opinion. I think it's too high of a risk for me, but that's just me. Dude, Maybe Dalmatian. a fish. Dalmatian. No, not a Dalmatian. Definitely not a Dalmatian. Uh, what about Air Max 95? What about it? All right, answered that question. Nailed it. All right, we love you, Doc. I love you, too. <laughs> Did you know I'm a doctor? All right, uh, next question. <laughs> All right, I don't know if this is an asshole army thing. Andrew Schultz triggered or what this is. I don't know. Next comment. Lol, 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 lol. Sounds like a troll. Lol, lol, lol. Am I right? <laughs> okay. Uh, the soundboard is kind of loud. I'm sorry about down. that. Are you getting both the Power Blazers and the Dunks? I think so, man. And I heard there's a Friends and Family release as well. And depending on the price, eh, we'll see. For is me, it's nobody going to ask right? how I am. <laughs> <laughs> Will you raid Area 51? <laughs> All right. Expo. No, I don't think so. I'm not into that UFO shit. Hey, it's all real. Garbage. Yeah, I don't know. It's all real. The Earth is flat. Damn, son. The Earth isn't flat, but aliens are real. We're being mm, not no. told anything. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Also, so back to you. Right, uh, have you had the NMD CS ones, the City Sox ones? I do have those. I have the OGs. How do they fit on those? I think I went a half size up. I don't remember. You may have to review back my original videos where I was this talking about it. This is the weirdest it. Q&A. Uh, hey, Lee, what are you? What, what Jordan kind model, of sock do you wear? Like, <laughs> what, what Jordan model do you think is the oh. most overrated, and what model do you think is the most underrated? The most overrated? Uh, Probably the, huh? Oh, most overrated shit. Can you not swear, please? Probably the ugh, the tens. I feel like we see way too many tens. Is it just me or is the ten a little overrated? Although a, ten every night. a lot of the don't kids don't it. really do. You know <laughs> <what I'm saying. laughs> chocolate. Um, yeah, chocolate. Oh, David Cross. Sorry, not Michael Cross. David, no, Cross. David Cross. Thank yeah, you, Sheena. Yeah. Appreciate it. And I promise I will respond to your email. Uh, most underrated, probably the Jordan 2, buddy. Twos are underrated because they're comfy. Yeah, but I get it. They ain't that pretty. But hey, I think that style's coming back because it's chunky. Uh, David Cross. Yes, David Cross, David Cross. Is there Let's, anything going on the Instagram? Because I keep seeing notifications, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you got to scroll up to catch them. Yeah, but. Is there anything going on? Let's see. The one the one guy has just got the Air Max ones. Have a Nike days. Right, you like them? Boring. Which Whatever. ones? The the Indigo Storm ones that I got? Because, yeah, I love those. I don't like the other ones with I mad colors it. on them. That's just me. Uh, why is 
Why is the doc still single? I'm eight, bro. You clearly don't read my uh, bio. I'm here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, most gangster trainer of all time. It's got to be... Got to be the Adidas superstars, right? Does anybody have be. any kind of questions that don't have to do with shoes? <laughs> we'll find out. Let me uh, let me catch up here. Uh, best socks to wear with Jordan. See? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, honestly, best socks to wear with sneakers, period. High crew crew socks only. None of this low tops ankle sock shit. That shit will fuck up your heels. Fuck it. It ain't worth it. I, only wear, I only wear high socks. The, only high the, socks, The baby. other day with these shoes that you got me only that, that socks. are very expensive socks. The, the, that are very expensive uh, shoes that you got me. Um, no socks. I wear them without socks all the time. I like the smell of my feet. I'm not the only one. Ooh, come on, guys. Uh, throw a like this man's way. Yeah, appreciate you, man. Especially after that comment. No, uh, I, dude. Yeah, so I got socks, shoe problem, and I don't get, know are annoying. if I want to keep getting my favorite OG or oh, geez. Jordan mm -hmm. J's or just cop some SBs I like and old Nike B-balls. What do you think I'm going into senior year? Bro, uh, you just buy whichever one of those speaks to you. Senior year of high school or college? Right there. I'm guessing senior year of high school. Yeah, but probably. But either it's senior year of fan. high school or college, both of these or all of these are in style. Just depends on the colorway, the fit you're rocking, what you like, what you don't, which one speaks to your soul as far as like SB history versus Jordan versus Michael versus Dato Day. That's Dude, up I, to you, bro. I, I, I literally hardly wear socks. I love uh, not wearing socks in the, the – what are those Adidas ones again? And then – NMDs? NMD. NMDs. Well, you have the NMD XR1s. Yeah, and they're nice. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I wear. I don't wear socks in these ones all the time, too. Dude, yes. socks are annoying. That's nasty. I got fat feet. It, it, it takes a lot of time to put a sock on. That ain't... That's nothing. I have fat feet. I got a fat dick, too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Hop, 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 hop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. I think we're caught up. Uh, oh, congrats on the Yellow Fear of God uh, uh, ones. Those are really dope. Those are the ones I originally wanted. If those came out first, I would have copped those first, but I got the OGs and the Light Bones instead. Itty, what it Moving right on. You're an animal if you wear no socks. <laughs> yeah, I am an animal. <laughs> no, I, oh, I hate loaded. socks, dude. Uh, they, they get in the way. They I only do it on, on occasion with my Hirachis. Okay. I don't just know what the got, hell that means. Oh, it's a type of sneaker. Just yeah, got what, what's off, a Hirachi, though? I'll show you. Just got off-white belt. So Still fast? not sure how to I like people. to wear it. Uh, I made like three videos on that. Uh, please feel free to just YouTube off-white belt doctor. I'm sure they'll pop up. Must take too long I'm to sure brush your teeth, too. Oh, got them. <laughs> Yeah, um, it does. <laughs> uh, Nikes are also good if you're a no sock kind of guy. I agree. Uh, the Nikes are pretty dope uh, and cheap uh, yeah, as fuck I, I too. Think, I think socks so socks are very annoying. Well, someone else just said wear socks, my guys. So. No, I don't. <laughs> you can't just appeal to the fans. <laughs> Left it's and just, right. It's just funny. I'm just saying. I think no, no, no. I think I, it's I'm, funny. I'm, I think it's funny. I'm standing by this. I think socks. Take a long time to put on when you have fat feet. I got very fat feet. I have to wear big shoes. Why don't we have equivalent? Glove culture. Wait, mm. like wearing gloves should be a thing? That could be interesting, I think. Because think about it, no, right? Gloves. Ugh. It'd be kind of like. I'm not wearing socks. It'd I'm be kind of like watch collecting because, like, with watches, they're on your hands. So you could be like, oh, yeah? Yeah? But with shoes, I, I can't be what like. That means. So, uh, yeah? No, it's not yeah. an alpha move. Uh, sometimes I just uh, not don't an alpha move. Just like you want to show off your sneakers, that's hard to do than showing off your watch. No, I just don't put on socks sometimes because I'm like, well, you, you know, I got to wash. That's not them. what this guy's talking about. We're talking about glove culture. I think glove culture would be a cool concept because you could do a bunch of different colors, you could do a bunch of different materials, and they would stand out because you'd be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, so dude, kind of like watches. You know, I can see like that. I, I think. Actually, yeah, glove culture could be cool. I mean, they used to like that. Used to be the dual challenge. It would be annoying, smack people unless you came up with like a super skin tight, or not skin tight, but like skin level breathable glove. That'd be od. But then you couldn't fuck with colors and concepts and all that kind of shit. No, but no, no. I, I think you could unless you dude, did maybe just the nails. A, do, doing a glove and the cape. nails would be kind of glove and cape culture. Bring that back. Cape culture. Yeah, like wear a cape and a glove. This has been the episode. Dude, that's, uh, that's like we'll, Andrew Jackson. We'll be Dude, signing off. It used to be like smacking people with a glove. Used to be challenging them to a duel. Yeah, but what and does it have to do a with a cape? Because, I don't know, it goes with the whole aesthetic. Yeah, but that's not very utilitarian, so that would be kind of annoying. Whereas know, a glove hide, is less utilitarian. You can hide, hide shit in your cape. You can hide a gun in your cape. Although glove culture in the winter could be kind of cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the cape could be cool, too. In the winter, yeah. It's yeah, better I than could, a coat. I could see a world where capes do a thing here. Yeah, Especially it's like a it's like yeah. a like a winter thing. 
it's like and you could do it like a graduation cap or like you've put little fancy stuff fun fancy stuff on the back oh, no like office quotes and stuff yeah. supreme yeah <laughs> or supreme. supreme will definitely come out with one for sure um shout out what up claudio rios claudia rios 304 Let's keep this going. What you? You done? No, I'm just reading off. Uh, I'm just reading off comments. Um, yeah. Oh, Lodi is right. That's a read. Uh, I agree. Um, what's your opinion on UK sneaker culture? Wouldn't know. Never been. Uh, <laughs> uh, train spotting triggered, baby. I do want to see the UK. That's Scotland. I, I want to go to Scotland. That is part of the UK. <laughs> is it Expo? Yep. Wales, North Ireland, Scotland. Uh, England and one other thing I think is all part of Great Britain. Yeah, isn't Great Britain different than the, the United Kingdom? Or are they so I think the United King or actually yeah, <laughs> the, the United. Are probably, like yelling at us. <laughs> Wait, what? Do you guys know any? Yeah, am I saying this right, Lord Sir Alan Sugar? Is Scotland part of the United Kingdom or Great Britain? W- w- but you get what I'm saying. One of them encapsulates yeah, yeah, yeah. all. No, of them. I know. Yeah, I want to say. I think United King. Great Britain's the United, than United Kingdom. Kingdom is all of them, and then Great Britain is probably just England and Wales. I think England and Wales is Great Britain. England alone is England. England plus Wales equals Great Britain, and then Great Britain plus Scotland, North Ireland, and some other thing is United Kingdom. What's Am I saying more? that right, folks? Um, you said one eighties, and he yeems for them. It's diff. What? Okay. Uh, Scotland is part of UK. Got them. Okay. And it's all part of them. England is England. Right. Wait, Got it. So and Great Britain is what? Great Britain is England plus Wales, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, Rolex gloves. Ooh, that could be interesting. Ooh. What's your opinion on... Or no, we answered that one. Have you ever seen the super limited Tom Sachs Nike wingtip dress shoes? They were only gifted to employees of Kohan when, he was, when it was owned by Nike. Makes sense, but no, I didn't hear about it. And... Zach's not going to fix his camera. He doesn't care. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Free my man Rocky. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rocky seems uh, to be getting it. Although I saw that video. I don't understand why he got in trouble. It just seemed like an innocent altercation. It's about a fight. Water bottles or something. I don't even know. I really didn't care that much. Um, I'm really curious if, if uh, Scotland is part of... Yeah, for sure. Actually, I could just Google yeah, around now. Yeah. Actually, you know, guys, as I go over to another screen for the YouTube live audience, tell me if you stop seeing me the minute I switch. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Do you guys still see me on screen? Leave a comment while I search what constitutes constitutes Great Britain. Let's see. So Great Britain it refers to the whole of England, Scotland, and Wales. Got it. But not North Ireland. Yeah. Ireland triggered. Uh, includes islands such as the Isle of Wight. So that's Great Britain. Anglesey, Isles of Scilly, the Hebrides, and the island groups of Orkney and Shetland. And oh, Shetland. Isn't that part of uh, Scotland as well? But anyway, that are part Great of Britain. England, Wales, and Scotland. So England, Wales, and Scotland equals Great Britain. Great Britain plus North Ireland equals uh, the UK. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. Got them. All right. So, what do you still see me? Good, good, good. Thanks for the feedback, guys. Really appreciate it. You hate the red coats. Ha, <laughs> got them. Funny. Yeah, fight us uh, again. London triggered. Uh, I think London we're done here, call. folks. I, what, I think what, I'm going to wrap this up. What, why do you, this, this why do you live go? What segment, else are we doing? This live segment alone is going a half hour. Yeah, but what else are we going to do? We're going to reset. New episode. Oh, okay. Snoop Dogg triggered. Um, and also Nate Dogg triggered and also Dr. Dre triggered. With that said, uh, save your... Yes, I am using the new um, tripod. It finally came in. I, I'd say it's a rounding success. Um, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, what food supplements do you recommend taking? Uh, I need you to be a little bit more specific. I am from Sweden and those people that harassed ASAP were definitely not Swedish, so please don't hate on me. I don't hate you, Orange no, Gibbous. No, go fuck yourself. Uh, have a Nerf battle. I don't have any Nerf guns. Uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, I will be doing this again in a little bit. Just give us a little bit. We'll be back live in maybe another hour or so. And uh, bye. Thanks for joining. Peace.